Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alright, cool. Needed, to, needed somebody to pick up something from the store for me and I don't even have to go out. That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I want to tell y'all I got my blank cards today. And I'm going to be using them as extra messages. But what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to take like a regular deck and I'm going to put the meaning on the cards. So that way, you know, they'll kind of coincide with the regular tarot deck. But my meaning, not what everybody else, you know, what all, like I said, some people say that a big offer is a page of pentacles. No, it's not. It's a page. Okay. <laughs> it's good news, but it's not a huge anything. So... <laughs> my interpretation of the cards are going to be on here. And we're going to have some fun with that next week. I'm um, not going to be, you know, obviously I just got the cards, so I'm not going to be able to do it for these, for these videos this weekend. But uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun next week. Told you. I'm going live, baby. Got it. Full force, full time. You got me all the time. And for the next three months, probably almost every day. You guys make me feel better even when I feel like crap. So, thank you. And it's very, very dingy here. I mean, the sun is supposed to be out and it's so not out. At least we're up to uh, 48 degrees. Woohoo! We're warm now whatever Scorpio uh oh past is coming back you just got a message shit it's an emperor it could be an Aries but it could also be your divine counterpart they are watching you like a hawk Scorpio jealous ooh, ooh, ooh. we have an attachment here this is a Capricorn. This could be you and them. It is definitely some kind of attachment that was faded and brought to you by the universe. Somebody may have ghosted the other one too. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so in the distant past, we met this emperor, male or female. This is a boss energy. Bows to no one except the empress. But it is also a bossy energy. A pushy energy. Most recent past we have the two of swords. That means being at a crossroads and not really seeing where you're going. But knowing you have to make a decision. This is where you're at right now. Six of cups. The past returning. Or childhood trauma. Take it how it resonates. Your challenge here is the Eight of Wands. A message coming through maybe from far away because a lot of times wands are all about travel or, you know, um, definitely communication of some kind that's, that comes in very quickly. In the immediate future, we have a page of wands. This is a message. We will clarify that message. Then we have a page of swords as the factor affecting the situation. There may be a significant age difference as I have a king and emperor and two pages. So there's definitely an age difference here. And it could be child, parent, or relationship as long as you're two mature adults. But this, kind of, this person looks kind of immature, so I'm not sure about that. 
this page of swords is paying a lot of attention to you probably stalking your social media and watching every single thing you do outside influence is your work what you do for work hopes and fears two of pentacles not wanting to juggle everything and the final outcome my favorite scorpio card the hermit going within to seek your answers best possible outcome is love no matter what okay but this is scorpionic energy and this could be a very one-sided relationship so far we don't have the queen of cups yet yet or the empress yet but i feel like i feel like both of them are going to come out in this reading what is this message spirit <clears throat> what is this message that's coming for uh my scorpios Oh, shit. And brought to you by destiny once again. Your earned success has gotten the attention of many people far and wide. We have a Pisces here. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. And I do believe you are starting to see and know what's coming this could be union with your significant other with your twin flame however there's an attachment here this may not be the same person like i said we have a pisces and a scorpio here with the three of wands in the middle like almost like it's a culmination and somebody is realizing something about you that has knocked them off their socks it could be a pisces just saying somebody is definitely looking at you and it has completely turned that wheel around it's almost like some you know what i'm picturing is like somebody is driving in their car and like they're getting like hundreds of miles away from you and then all of a sudden a light bulb goes off and they whip it around and they start going back that's what i'm feeling with that that is your challenge that's a pretty intense challenge let's see what the page of wands is about what is this message about spirit There's that Queen of Cups. You are this person's Queen of Cups. They know what they did. Got them where they're at. They see you getting all this attention. And all they want is to come back to you. They know you're guarded. They know you see them like this now. They know you see them like this now they screwed with the wrong energy i could tell you that much right now bread crumbing making somebody think that there's more to this than there is karma is served cold and you look damn good to this past now they want to come back and kiss your cheek this is the tower might be a tower for you too maybe you do love this person but it's going to be a shocking surprise not now not if you're watching this video <laughs> if they're watching this video they might just try to uh, manipulate it too because I feel a very manipulative energy here because they see you doing really well they're going to try to come in and give you justice for what they did to you. They're going to profess 
their love. This is the factors affecting the situation. Justice. Your justice. That all these people are going to come back. But this is the same old song and dance, guys. This is them promising you a rose garden and delivering you a tumbleweed. Alright? To get you stuck. You're already trying to find your way out of this situation. In, in, in your own hand, that's your oversoul. Reaching into the depths of your soul to try to pull you out. So you can see the way forward. Because right now, you're swimming in this. You need to come out of it. You need to grab that hand from your higher self and say, you know, enough's enough. I don't care what this person thinks of me, and I don't, I, I'm not going to live my life continually going through this over and over and over again. we got 888 right here, so great, great energy. Um, love yourself first, Scorpio. They're, they're, they're coming in with the same energy as they left with. They're not in their empress or emperor energy at all. I think they fooled you with that energy before. And you didn't you didn't fall for it. So here they come again trying to do the same damn thing they did before and expecting a different outcome. Ghost. I think my Scorpios have turned into a ghost. Because they know this is toxic. There's the devil again. Yeah. This person wants to fight you for your wish fulfillment. Like I said, it's up to you whether or not you give this person another chance. But if you're expecting a different outcome from this person, I don't see it as of now. As of now, I do not see that. I see a very empty energy trying to cling to you like you're their last hope. They may even be addicted to something. Alcohol, drugs, something. Maybe even just addicted to your attention. They want your attention more than anything. And the less you give them, the more they spiral out of control. Be careful with this person. That five of swords freaks me out a little bit. And getting the devil twice? Yeah. You need to avoid this person. All they want to do is fight. And, and it's, you know, like a family situation with the ten of cups. You know, that's a family situation. So they're fighting with not only you, but your family too. You've got to get this message to them that they can't do that anymore. If they want that Ten of Cups and the 888, which is, you know, I mean, one of the luckiest numbers you can get, you have to come out of that toxicity. If, the, if this person is an addict, you need to help them. If you, want, if you want to keep them, you need to let them bottom out and get the help that they need. Because at the end of this reading, I've got a moon. And not being able to see the way forward after you get played. Realizing the truth about this person's stability is they don't have any. Reliving something that was long dead. Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords. The Judgment card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. I hate to say it, Scorpio, but this person is after your stability. They, they think they look good enough and smell good enough and are good enough to, for you to take care of them. Like I said, this might be a child-mother, child child-father situation because we have... The Emperor also represents a father and the Six of Cups, as you can see. 
represents a child and a mother here. So this could actually be a child that comes in and expects you to take care of them. They're expecting you to take care of them. And you don't know how you're going to do it. This is an adult child. Somebody in their 20s, but very immature. You don't know how you're going to do it. You, you can, I mean, it's not even just the fact that you, you're you helping them get on their feet. It's that you have to live their life while they're living in your house. And I think that stresses you out big time. King of Cups. Make them find their own way. Six of, or, or six. The hanged man, Pisces energy again. With the king of cups, we have five of pentacles, magician, the emperor, the fool, and temperance. You need to teach this person how to manifest their own reality because you are the teacher here as the emperor. And how to teach them how to manage money so they're not in the five of pentacles energy you can ghost them you can leave them you know to their own devices because eventually they will find their way i also feel like somebody's practicing magic thinking that it's going to work and it does not work unless you have balance and the magic's within you the only one you can put a spell on and it work is yourself so this person feels left out in the cold so they're manipulating you for a brand new beginning are you gonna take it or are you gonna choose to allow this person to bottom out because I do feel like that's what's going on here you're enabling somebody who has an addiction who has a serious issue with it looks like authority here um and we have the hanged man on the bottom so whoever this person is whether they be a lover a child or, or you know it could even be a parent they need to learn how to stand on their own and take a take a risk on themselves first they got to find their balance and that might come through therapy or, you know, like, um, what is that? N.A.? Yeah, they might even have to go through, like, Addicts Anonymous or something like that to be able to come out of this energy because they do feel like it's very powerful. It's very strong, very, very Saturnian. This person expects you to take care of them. They expect it. Family secrets. Somebody's threatening to expose family secrets about a lover to a wealthy man. Oh. Somebody's getting nasty here. Somebody's definitely getting nasty. Somebody wants to tattle on somebody else for... Um, Maybe a not so discreet affair. Okay, with a wealthy man. A path that someone has chosen here for themselves. So this person wants to expose a family secret about lovers, a wealthy man, and somebody's path that they are walking down. Now, I don't know who what that means to you, because that's your reading. <laughs> I'm not dealing with any of that personally, but you might be. So, pick out resonates. There is definitely a new pathway here, and the number 35 is sticking out to me. I don't know why, because I feel like this person is in their 20s. Whoever you're dealing with is in like their mid to late 20s. I feel like they're 35, but that's another 8, so that might be another, that might be just 8. 
it, you just, if you keep seeing the number eight, this is definitely a reading for you. Have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting that you hesitate on because you're dealing with all this other nonsense in your personal life. You're reminiscing about this person. You have something of theirs that they gave you. And you're learning from that person to love yourself. Ah, that's nice. You're focusing on yourself and self-worth. There is a relationship evolving into the next phase. Healing the inner child. Six of Cups. Then we have a runner here. That might be you, that might be them, I don't know. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy and listening to the ego. I feel more like it's them because this relationship is not your traditional relationship. So this person's running with that five of pentacles. What's weird about this whole situation is that although they're running from any kind of a ego perspective with the divine masculine here twice, they are watching you. They are looking. They are stalking. They are gaslighting perception and focusing out. So they're running from their own shadow. But nobody's chasing them. I don't see a chaser here. I see somebody running from their own shadow. They're going to have to come to terms with that, guys. There is nothing you can do to help them with this. And anything you do will be an enabler. Will be helping them do this stuff that's in their shadow that needs to be cleansed and sometimes it takes watching somebody completely lose everything and every strip of everything they ever were for them to realize that especially if they're gaslighting you and blaming you for the reason why they behave the way they behave that is gaslighting that is manipulation that is a psychosis that needs to be healed whether it be you or the other person Okay, those are your messages, guys. I will see you in the next video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Take care. Bye-bye.